Make a commitment when you're ready to learn how to drive. It's extremely important that you have a mental mindset. I can't tell you how many times I've seen kids and adults who are not ready to learn how to drive. You have to do this for yourself. Most states in North America have a graduated license system where you're in a permit phase for three months, six months, nine months, then you are learning to drive on your own. This is a commitment of yourself. You can't do this for your mom, you can't do this for your dad, your boyfriend or girlfriend, or your significant other. You really have to connect. You have to connect with your instructor. I like teaching driver's education because I get a chance to connect with my students. We talk about school because why? I'm a teacher. We talk about life because I want to set goals. I'm a college graduate. I'm trying to make sure and educate the next generation of drivers. A lot of times you don't really have a purpose. You have to be purpose driven. I'm purpose driven because I'm passionate about driver's education and it's a huge commitment of time. It's six weeks of time of driving, of connecting. Also, the other side, you're dealing with problems with the network, problems with the system. Maybe attendance didn't work. There is risk and rewards in everything in life. And occasionally, yes, we do have crashes or accidents or fandom vendors. You, as a beginning driver, need to be listening to what I'm saying, need to understand that mindset. What is that first drive like? We're going to come, I'm going to say hi to mom and dad, I'm going to ask them what they do, and then we're going to get into the car. I'm going to show you how to adjust that seat. I'm going to show you how to adjust your mirrors. You want to have a slight bend in your arms, slight bend in your legs. Get that seat right. You need to have thin sole shoes on so you can feel that gas and brake. No thicker shoes, no Timberlands, no older Nikes. You'll slam that brake. And we don't want you to slam the brake. Once you get comfortable, I'm going to give you directions. I'd like you to put start the car up. I'd like you to put your foot on the brake put it in drive. We'll start by doing maneuvers in the parking lot. We'll do right hand turns, figure eights, left hand turns, figure eights. Then once you feel comfortable, we're going to get out on the road. And that's very scary in itself where you're not sure. The hardest thing is pulling out in front of traffic. You want to have a large gap. A gap is a space. And when you have good space, you can pull out very easily. Next, don't stare down at the speedometer. Look ahead, aim high. A lot of beginning drivers drift to the right or drift to the left. It's normal. As time goes on, you will feel more comfortable. Next, you're going to be really gripping that steering wheel like it's your life. Relax, okay? That's really important. And get comfortable. We try to build good habits of not running yellow lights. If you get comfortable running yellow lights, we're going to get broadsided. I don't want that to happen. I don't want you to feel comfortable running on lights and it sends a message that you will end up failing your road test. So I'm giving you a perspective. I'm here to help you. Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up. Bye.